What's going on, guys? It is Tony from Normal Paintball. Today, we are talking the Field One Force version two. And why? Because it's the best source for paintball. That's LoneWolfPaintball.com, of course, Mark. So, Field One Force, we finally got some version twos in stock. You can see this beauty right here. You will notice um, the new milling on the body, the front grip, the back cap. But we're going to set this off to the side for now and unbox one, kind of see what the uh, version two comes with. Um, before I hop on into that, if you guys uh, have an original Field One Force, not the V2, you guys can buy all of the parts separately to build out your Nucleus core to make it as efficient as the version two. So Field One sells seven different pieces all individually. You guys can literally build yourself a brand new Nucleus core to make it just like the version two. So prices will be uh, on the website, obviously, so go check those out. All right, let's crack this bad boy open. Take a quick peek here. So inside, it's a it's, it's a box in a box. I like boxes of boxes. I like box in a box. So we'll just, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just set this off to the side and then it is a nice hard field one case. So we'll take a crack and see what's going on in here. Yeah, nothing like a box in a box, huh Mark? So as soon as you Open it up. This is what you're gonna see. I know the Field One Force version two, these bad boys retail right around 1550. So what you're gonna get, you're gonna get two barrel inserts, the AccuLock inserts. We got a 691, and it should also come with a 683. Yes, it does. The silver AccuLock 683. And then you've got your back, which is here, and you've got your front barrel tip. So, and a nice little pocket to hold neoprene uh, padded pockets to hold and keep all those safe from, from dinging around when you got them. So I've already got one fully assembled. So I'm just showing you what's inside. Set that there. Uh, take a look. You've got a brand new lube for field one. And then you looks like, I think this is going to be an owner's manual. Oh, tons of, tons of different cards. So it kind of gives you a breakdown of, of how to actually maintain and troubleshoot your marker. So that's a different style of manual, like different postcards. Uh, and then I know we have a full, there is a full rebuild kit for the force as well. So kind of let you know what you got here. Full rebuild kit in a nice, like almost like a fishing style tackle box. Oh, so, a nice box. so the box inside a box with another box. It inside is, that. there's boxes inside of boxes and all sorts of, all sorts of good stuff. Um, just throw this back in here. Some oh. might say the box alone is worth 1550. <laughs> over here on this side you got a patch you want to put it on your gear bag or something like that comes with a field of one force patch you've got plenty of stickers by them you've got a player's card who is this blake yarber dynasty and speaking obviously the force you guys dynasty is one of the most is winningest even the word it one of the now. most notorious teams ever that have won plenty of events. They're the latest World Cup champs like two or three times over. They shoot the field one four. So guys, obviously, these are used by the best professional players in the world. So definitely don't sleep on this one. Could right, you Blake, say uh, Dynasty is infamous? Oh, wait, that's a different team. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> I see what you did there, Mark. I see what you did. You got Yosh, Alex, and Ryan Greenspan here. And then you've got the tech card approved by, I don't know whose signature that is, but one of them. So... You got the approved signed tech card there. And then you've got your field one barrel cover and the a shoulder strap for this case. I believe it's got to be for this case, obviously. Yeah. So it comes with a shoulder strap that's going to hook onto your case here. So pretty neat. I like that. And then more room, more storage for extra inserts if you guys are going to get some extra ones there. And then, of course, you got the field one all nice and secure strapped, strapped in the case. All right. Whew. Unboxing. That is done. That's what you get when you got a brand new one. So throw this stuff back in there real quick. I'll put it off to the side so we can continue on with this video. So field one force, baby. We're one question. Have go. we ever tested to see if I buy an AccuLock barrel kit system, like the, the you know, all the extra inserts? Yeah. Does the full kit fit inside the field one case? Would it? They're actually pretty small, so it probably would. Yeah, well, I mean, are you talking putting a box in a box again? Well, not the box, but like taking all the inserts all the ins out, yeah. like if they would actually have the home inside their... Yeah, they've got plenty of insert slots here on this other side, so I'm almost positive it, it would, so... Ha, huh, you're not getting that with any other manufacturer. No, okay, so onto the Force V2. If you guys have never even known what a Field 1 is, now you're going to 
comes with the AccuLock barrel system. So pretty much it's a, it's a super, super accurate system. So it won't allow you to get this insert out. It literally locks in place here unless the tip of the barrel's off. So once you unscrew the tip, by the way, it's a 14 inch barrel. Once you unscrew that tip, now you can lock and slide your insert out. So it's got these, um, these grooves in here that everything goes into. So a pretty cool system there. Like I said, brand new out of the box, comes with a 691 and a 683. So we're gonna screw that sucker back on. What is new on the V2? You've got redesigned eye covers here. You've got a completely redesigned uh, front foregrip with the milling. The body is completely uh, redesigned from the previous version as well. And then you've got uh, your back cap also different. So a lot of outside aesthetic features are different on this version too. Toss this barrel back on there. My, other than, other than the Nucleus Core, I think my favorite part about this is it's got two different battery options. So it's powered by stock out of the box, two double A's that go into the front grip. If you guys wanted to buy the LiPo battery, now you can install it in the grip here. And when you pop these, um, the grip screws off to put the LiPo battery in here, there's a dip switch. So you can switch it from, I wanna use the double A's up front, or now I wanna use my LiPo battery that's in the grip. So you've got two options uh, out there, which is actually a really cool feature. I don't think any other gun on the market currently has that, so that's pretty neat. Um, other than the milling, obviously you've got your standard uh, kind of deuce style trigger here. I like that, it's probably one of my most favorite styles because it's got the hump in there. You can really, trying to walk that trigger, it gives you a nice feel compared to just like a blade or like a, a fang style. So I really like the trigger, plenty of room in the grip frame here, and even in, in this region here, holding the front grip, if you've got bigger, you know, fatter hands, you've got plenty of room in there. So let's really get down to the nitty gritty here of what is different. We got the nucleus core on this bad boy and uh, they did seven different upgrades to it. Pretty much all of it's gonna have to do with efficiency and increased volume. So anywhere, Mark, we're gonna start from the top. You wanna go, you know what, we're gonna go with the, the slots on here, the flat wrench spots. So before on the previous model, can do you see like all those what in here where you oh, can get a hold of the, with the flat? That's a so silly question. On the previous model, they didn't have that. People trying to do maintenance on their bolt system. Like, how do I get this off? Like, I don't have a spot to like really grab a hold of it with a wrench. So they definitely changed that. And I like that. So now you can separate it from here, from the back core super easily with some flats, crescent wrench. Um, next up, you're gonna notice the pillow tip. They, well, you're probably not gonna be able to see in there, but we've got the pillow tip bolt up front. And uh, instead of a brass screw that they had, you know, some people, they were, it was kind of uh, breaking off on them. Now they're using stainless steel in this front pillow tip bolt. On uh, a stronger outer cage on this bad boy, what I mean by here, they increased the aluminum on here a little bit thicker. And uh, they, they put some, put some different uh, slotting on here to increase the volume on this bad boy as well. Uh, stop. I have a stop. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can actually unscrew that pretty easily. This stop here has also been changed. That is what is going to be, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not taking all that apart, Mark, but I'll just show it to you in this bag. This is the stop. Once again, they added some different milling in here, some holes, you probably can't see it that well in the bag, but um, this used to also be, um, like they, I think this one was brass as well. Now it is aluminum, so it's a little bit more durable and it's gonna allow you a little bit better airflow and volume inside the marker. What do we got else? Oh, the rammer. Yeah, the ram, they, they changed the ram up, added some, um, once again, more machining and milling. It's all basically technical terms on the inside. The rammer, which is going to be this piece in there, which is pretty much the long shaft of this nucleus um, spool is going to be there. And they did some different machining to once again, allow better airflow, better air efficiency and better volume on here. So there are seven different parts, like I said, on the version two, compared to the previous model that are allowing, you know, upgrades for, for the player and better air efficiency all the way across. Um, down to the Rhino HPR. I know, once again, I'm not popping all this stuff out, but let me just get this cap in there. Down, uh, you got your HPR down here, so you got your on off system, and then this is where you're gonna adjust the velocity through here. Once again, a, um, I think, the, what, did, what was uh, the technicality Mark on the Rhino, what we talked about. The version, the upgrade on the version two is first, it's a different color. It's got a red piston instead of a blue, but more importantly, it takes way less maintenance, has a decreased chance of the regulator pressure spike, 
Uh, the O-ring placement changed a little bit, so it makes the assembly and maintenance way easier. So a lot less maintenance on the uh, the Rhino HPR. So yeah, a lot of, uh, other than you know the aesthetics on the outside of this marker, They've definitely changed a lot. To change seven components on your core and also be, uh, you know, modifying your HPR, which is, you know, through here, um, that's, that's a lot of changes. So overall, literally a brand new gun used by the best in the world. And uh, enough of me talking. Let's take this bad boy outside and shoot it real quick. All right, guys, as promised, I am outside with that Field One Force V2. Let's run a pot of paint through this bad boy and see how it shoots. Let's go. Today we got that HK Army pineapple paint. Let's see it. Turn her on, let's go. Ball on ball. You want me to put a couple on that sign, Mark? Just a few? Sure, why not? Dead center, let's do it. Hopper is empty. Wait, we got one more. Couple more. Check them out on the website. It's Field One Force version two. And as always, it's LomoPaintball.com. See ya.